Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the black screen of death on your Nintendo 3DS. So, I was going to make a 3DS video this morning, but when I went to turn my 3DS on, the blue light displays as normal, but nothing seemed to display on the screen, which I thought was kind of weird. So I looked this up online and I saw a few posts, and apparently there's something to do with the Wi-Fi card, so I'm going to try and fix that now and show you guys the guide on how to do it. So make sure you turn your 3DS off if the blue light's displaying. Just hold down the power button. Right guys, so once your 3DS is completely off, you want to take out the game that may be in it and the SD card. Right, so once your game and SD card are out, there are four screws on the back which you need to remove. So I've just got a screwdriver set. You guys want to get exactly the right screwdriver because you don't want to strip any of the screws on your 3DS. So I'm just going to take these four screws out. So once you've undone all these screws, you can just lift up the back plate and then it should be able to be taken out. Just like that, there's two small slots at the bottom, you can just pull it up. Right, so once the back plate's off, you want to remove the battery right here. Now on the back here, there are actually nine very small screws. So I've just got like a small Phillips head screwdriver. Um, this is actually an iPhone screwdriver, but it seems to work perfectly with um, 3DS. So be very careful that you don't strip these screws, because I would imagine they're very hard to um, take out or put back in once they're stripped. Oh, you're just saying else I forgot to mention, you want to take your DS pen out. Right guys, so once that's out, you should be able to open this fairly easily. Right guys, so you don't have to open it all the way. But once your 3DS is looking like this, so you can see the Wi-Fi chip right here, what I like to do is just take that off. So disconnect it from the motherboard, just like that, as you can see it's now off. And then just clip it back in. If you guys want to completely take it apart, there's actually a screw right here that is holding the housing, the rest of the housing together. Let's just remove that and be very careful you don't lose it. So that part just clips on there to so the Wi-Fi adapter and then this just clap, clips back in to the motherboard. Obviously be very careful when you're doing this so you don't break any pins. Right, so that's in as well. You can always give your 3DS a clean. Make sure you're very careful with these ribbon cables at the top. If you break any of them, that can be very bad and your 3DS probably won't turn on. Right, so now I'm just going to put this back on, be very careful again. Should go on quite easily. Now you can just put this screw back in at the top. Make sure all your buttons work and everything. So I'm not going to put everything back just yet, I'm just going to test to see if it works. So I'm just going to pop the battery in and just power it on. So as you can see, it seems to work. Um, unfortunately, I just have no idea what causes this problem. It's just, it just seems to be really stupid. But anyway, guys, that's how you fix it. Obviously, my SD card's in. I would normally have um, homebrew and stuff. Right guys, so as you can see, everything is working and back to normal. 
So that's pretty much it for this video. If you, this fixed your 3DS or you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.